Yakuza is an action RPG series that I've been hearing a lot about over the years, but I've never had a chance to sink my teeth into it. This is probably due to there just being so many games in the series. The original Yakuza title was first released by Sega in 2005 for the PS2 and was highly acclaimed in Japan for its cinematic-like storytelling based on the Japanese criminal underground. After many sequels on the PS2, 3 and 4, the first Yakuza game was remade in 2017 under the title of Yakuza Kiwami. Aside from the obvious visual upgrades, Kiwami also adds extra elements to the original story as well as improved gameplay as seen in the more modern title Yakuza 0. I found Kiwami to be a great place to start in the series, even though Yakuza 0 seems to be the most popular starting point. In any case, I am so glad I finally found the time to check this series out as it is one of the wildest, craziest rides that I've been on for a while. Before we get into it, if you like this video, it would help me out a lot if you hit like and sub for loads more RPG content. Now, let's get into why Yakuza Kiwami is worth looking into. Kiwami's story is centered around Yakuza Lieutenant Kiryu, who in the past takes the blame for a murder committed by his long-term friend Akira Nishikiyama. After spending a decade in prison for a crime that he didn't commit, Kiryu is released only to find that things have changed a lot over the years. He soon discovers that a close friend Yumi has gone missing and 10 billion yen has been stolen from the Tojo clan who he was formerly part of. The 20 odd hour main story is focused on Kiryu's journey to uncover these mysteries and I was hooked from start to finish. The story is pretty strong and there are some great scenes with some quality twists and turns and this is exactly what I wanted for a game about the Yakuza. However, if this is your first time playing the series, it may be a little difficult to keep track of all of the characters, families and histories, but fortunately a lot of this can be referenced on the fly in the menu and this helped me out a lot. <laughs> Progression through the story involves completing missions around the fictional Tokyo district of Kamurocho. While the city itself is smaller than some of the other Yakuza games, it looks amazing and is highly detailed and full of life. With that said, there is a lot of backtracking and running from point A to point B in places that you've already been to may become a bit repetitive. However, I never really found this too much of a problem as during this travel time I was almost always distracted by something and these distractions were my favourite thing about Yakuza Kiwami. Kamurocho is absolutely littered with things to do. It seems that just about everywhere you look there is a mini game, a side quest or something else to chew up hours of your time. We'll start with a plethora of mini games. Most of these are very well designed and the best part is that there is incentive to play them. Some of them are straightforward such as baseball or darts or chatting up women at the host club. Some others however are just nuts and this really highlights the wild crazy humorous tone of Yakuza. What better example of this than the Mesu King minigame? After choosing from a range of cars that you collect around the world, you can take part in what I can best describe as sexy beta woman wrestling. Honestly, I really don't know what's going on here, but I didn't care. My personal favourite however was Karaoke. This rhythm based minigame features a load of songs with crazy music videos and super catchy tunes. <laughs> Aside from many of the minigames having prizes and being related to side quests, there's also a very extensive completion list that provides additional challenges to strive for. Some of these include getting 1600 points in each of the batting courses or getting 10 strikes in bowling. If you're a completionist, there is a lot of extra content and goals that you can work through here. The side quests are also in huge supply. Some of them are easy to initiate such as by running into someone on the street. Others will require you to be in the right place at the right time and these ones are very easy to completely miss out on. The quality of these side quests are very hit and miss. Some are wacky, detailed and interesting while others are just short generic fetch quests that require a lot of running around. I would have liked to see some more consistency with the quality of this extra content. <laughs> こちら
Kiwami's combat system has seen quite a few upgrades from the original PS2 version, taking its mechanics from Yakuza 0. At its core, it's a beat em up. Battles will involve Kiryu going up against loads of enemies with the buttons mapped to different attacks, blocking, and dodging. To help keep things fresh, Kiryu has four combat styles that can be alternated between Brawler, which is your all round style, Rush, which is fast but less powerful, Beast, which is slow but great at dishing out damage, and Dragon, which starts off very underpowered but gains all of its strength through leveling it up. Each of these styles has its own use against different enemies and in different situations and learning the ins and outs of each style will take quite a bit of experimentation. Now my favourite thing about the combat system is heat actions. Through attacking enemies and not being hit yourself, you will increase your heat gauge and when this reaches a certain level, you can activate heat actions and dish out significant damage. There are loads of these to discover and activating them is completely situational. For instance, when in the brawler style, you can stand over a knockdown enemy and press triangle to activate this action. Some of these are absolutely brutal and insane and activating them in battle is a great feeling. This system isn't without its flaws though. You will be fighting a lot of bosses and mobs and at times I just felt that there was nothing I could do to stop myself from being knocked down. Fists and weapons are flying in from all angles and sometimes I just spent more time spamming X to get up off the floor than actually doing anything useful. Yeah, I know, I should just quit my job and become an expert at the combat but as a first time player this was very frustrating for me at times. あ、あんたら。夜遅くに悪いな。同時まぐみのキリュウだ。いや、まさかキリュウさんが直々に。要件は昨日うちの若いのが伝えたはずだ。明日明日まで待ってください。お願いします。夜逃げの準備しながら言